Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be starting a new ACF series about making a side scroller game using Ascent Combat Framework and Unreal Engine 5. We're also going to be merging this with Cinti later, and this has been this series is a Patreon request that we'll be doing. And this is actually going to be a pretty long journey because this is going to be making a full game, a full side scroller type game using Ascent Combat Framework. And let's go ahead and get started. So for part one, we're going to be going over just setting up the camera view and creating a little dummy map where our character can just move around. But let's go ahead and get started. So I'll just hit Control N and set up with some sort of basic map like so and hit Create. And now I'm just going to shrink this map by quite a lot just so our floor uh, can be pretty thin, so I'll reduce it like that. And then I'm just going to duplicate this and I'll move it up. I'll rotate it up where it's 90 degrees and just leave it back here like so. And I'll also move my player start to the left like this. So now when I click play and now we have the setup of a 3D side scroller game like so. But now let's play with the camera angles. And before doing so, we actually need to add a plugins folder so we don't affect every other ACF project that we have currently. So I'm just going to open up my content browser by clicking show and explore and I'll go up one to my ACF ultimate folder and then I'll just paste the plugins that has the Ascent toolset, Ascent UI tools and Ascent combat framework like so. And I have a bunch of videos on this so feel free to check that out. And I'll go ahead and close my Unreal Engine project and restart this. And now once that's imported with all three folders inside of these plugins, now I can open up my side scroller project and now when I edit anything in our projects, it will only edit the ACF in our plugin stuff instead of the engine content. So everything we edit in our plugins will only affect this project itself. And now that I've restarted my project, you'll see our plugins folder like so. The first thing I'm going to do is head over to world settings and open up my game mode and select the game mode should be dropped down. And we're going to select our game mode override to be that ACF ultimate game mode. And now I'll open up that player controller class and double click to open this up. And you can do the same thing with the full sample. Just feel free to follow along. It just might be a little bit of a different folder hierarchy. And now when ACF player controller BP is open, I'm going to open this mapping context called ACF default mapping and double click to open this up. So when I expand my mappings, I'm going to delete our ACF turn input because I don't want the mouse, our mouse movement to affect where our character is looking by clicking this trash icon to delete and the ACF lookup input so that we can't look up and sideways. And now I'll go back to my map and open up our character. So I'll just hit this find button for our default pawn class and double click to open this up. So what I'm going to do is head over to the viewport. And now when I click on viewport, I'm going to click on my spring arm. So under the spring arm, I'm going to scroll down under camera settings and uncheck all of these. So use pawn control rotation, inherit pitch, yaw and roll. And I'll just hit compile and save and click play to see where our camera is. So as you can see, our camera is actually at a good angle of getting a side scroller and we can't even turn our camera, but let's go ahead and zoom out quite a bit. So now for the spring arm, I am going to just increase the target arm length to let's say something like 600. It is showing behind our character, but when we do play this in game, it's going to be exactly where from the side scroller angle, so let me just try this out. And now this looks pretty good to me. It's kind of working the same. It does have a 3D feeling to it as if it is a side scroller type game. I can go all around. It's not limited to only the X axis or in a 2D form. This is a pretty good introduction to starting Ascent Combat Framework 2D side scroller. And we'll stop here for our first part. This is just getting our camera set up and our project and camera set up. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.